Welcome back to another episode, you guys. You can see the fish tank behind me. It's getting close to getting fishing every day. In this episode, we head offshore. It's our swordfish camp. We're getting some really nice dolphin the first day on the way out. So check out the side of these mahis. But I also want to tell you guys, our apparel pack giveaway is almost up. A few more days left. So if you guys want a chance to win some good swag, sign up in the link below. It's free. I got to sign up with your email. And uh, we're going to give away three, three apparel packs. So enjoy that. And I also want to tell you guys, thanks for watching. And if you guys don't mind subscribing, hit that subscribe button. We want more subscribers. We want more people watching the channel. So hit subscribe and check this video out right now. Welcome back to the Broad Minded. We are heading out sword fishing. A little windy south wind, stormy all night, but uh, going sword fishing the next three days. Out in 1,297 feet, and we got a nice dolphin on. A little bit of luck to stay on there. Look like a cow. It's like at least 15, 18 pounder. Might be a bull here, you never know. Come here, Nick. All right. Yes! Nice oh, man. Yeah, where's the cow, Nick? He's back here. Okay, That's a 30 pounder right there. Oh. I've seen him. I've seen yeah, him, dog. Yeah, nice nice job. All the time. Alright. I want to just move that conventional rod too out of the way. Why, 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 why? Oh, he's on you, the H-E, H-E, H-E. Come walk back, walk back. Walk back. Here, here, bud. Oh, give me a hit of that value. Got to know who's over and who's under. You're I'm under, under, I'm under. Do it, do it. Are they undone? They're good, they're good, yeah. They're good. Same fish or a different one? I mean, missed a couple times. There's one right there, though. Four nice dolphin here, you guys. This is what we've been waiting to see. Uh, hopefully the season's coming. It's been really hit and miss on the dolphin lately on the mahis, but things are looking up. One, one, one on that one, buddy. Follow your fish around, yeah. There is another one? No. I think it's good. You might want to get the gap. Yeah, yeah just pull it back. Oh, nice fish, guys. Here, watch out. I'm going to go on the deck bolt this one. That's a for me if you don't mind. Oh, got him. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Be careful, Bill. Make sure that line don't get near the boat, bud. Come to me, come to me. Nice and slow, trying to pull up on his head like that. All right, we got three. There's one big left. We need the big bull now. Terrorize, huh? You guys, do we know which birds to stop on? Pull to the left, pull to the left, pull to the left. 
Get a good picture on the lid up, right? Yeah. Good job, guys. We got the bull and the cows. Good way to start the day. Swordfish camp coming up now. Get your hand up under your peck fins like that. Uh, they were making lunch and we got a bite that Bowie laid over. Hopefully he stays on there. Could yeah, make our day. My, I'll get my calories in case it's quiche. Yeah, one's steady. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. You have now lay your needle down. Yep. Out of your way. Okay, everybody ready for this, this stuff here? Yep. Lift up, lift up, nice and easy. Get two cranks down, two cranks down. Lower it. Come back up. Okay, now you see how you tilt back around this way. Now you want to pull this left. Pull this left. Lift up, lift. Nice and easy. Two cranks down. Nice, good. Here, watch out. Okay. That's a big one, dude. Thomas. Here, back up, back up, guys, back up. Oh, yeah, nice ball. Good job, guys. Good nice. job, everybody. Nice job. Nice work. Another slammer. Dropping a bait down. Something ate on the way down. Hopefully, it stays on there. It's in 1,800 feet of water right here. We're only down 1,500 feet. Somebody on drop. Could be a little sword. Could be a tuna. No telling. Could be something else. Hopefully he stays. We need a break. Some baby. Good job on the rack. Breaking in the new sign. For us, I guess. Like, yeah, we just got it up there a couple days ago. Just put it right? Yeah, a couple days ago. The new sign's up from Sign Zoo, you guys. We got some fish on it, too. That's like the town hall over there. They're all talking. But it's blowing. You see the flag ripping. A lot of boats are canceled. It's supposed to be 18 to 20 knots, it's 23 to 25 knots. And that five knots is a big difference. It goes from rough to really rough, so 25 knots is tough. I don't know if we're gonna go, we're gonna find out here soon. But we got a nice mic to play this morning because we got in late last night, we did about half of them. But we're gonna do this bowl right here now. See how he turns out. Lee's gonna play the fish, you guys. I always show you somebody else doing it once in a while, because you know, everybody does everything a little bit different. Bull, you got a little more meat up on the head, so you gotta get that head meat right there, old son. Yeah. It's, you know, avoiding a lot of rib cage there in the stomach is just more bones you gotta cut through. Yeah. Oh. You know what? I'll be nice. Yeah, 
can't do it. <laughs> I can't. If it was Jimmy and Jordan for sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, if Joey wasn't there, we definitely would have pulled the scales and got all those guys, but we want to be nice to him. We would have got Jimmy and Jordan, though. We'll have Joey come over here when we go to the other side, yeah. What's up? Get all that meat off the back, bro. Then you can kind of run it up, separate it from the vertebrae. And that vertebrae, that spine there is the tough part, you gotta get that knife over that. And once you get over top of that vert that backbone, you can kind of just slide your knife up under and get the whole bottom section if you've done it a couple times. Now I kind of try to go like this, get around the rib cage if possible. Not really wasting much meat there, you're just saving your knife edge if anything, you know? Nice play of mahi there. Skin's off it, and now we cut the skin a lot. Some people peel it, just depends how you learn, but we're gonna take this back home and cook some of it up somehow. So I'm on our X3 shallow sport bay boat, and I wanna show you guys something there. A lot of people have been asking about the water purifier there, the spot zero system. You know, is it worth it or not? And this boat back here, we don't have one back here. You know, I don't have the machine back here. I have it there close to the Freeman, which I could pull this over there, but when you don't chamois this, this is what you get. You know, you get all these hard water spots. So hopefully you can see that all up there by my fingers. Up right there, you can see all those water spots. And this boat's new. It's only, you know, a few months old. And we're not shamming it. If we did, you know, it would help that. But all those water spots right there that you can see, all those water spots up there is really noticeable. That's just from the hose water. You know, it's hard water there. And, uh, you know, you can see it all. And if you rub them, you can get them off while they're still fresh. But it needs a good waxing now and really needs a sham it. You can also see them up here. Very noticeable, so. That's what you get. They're also like the windshield. I mean, look at the windshield there. You can see it. That's all the hard water there. Just from using the hose water, not drying it off. So to make our life easier, we got the spot zero and I'm gonna go show you the Freeman right now and uh, show you the metal on that just so you can see the difference. This is the machine right there. That's the spot zero water system. And now let me go show you the Freeman here and show you what it looks like. And this, we don't show me this boat either, but just going through that water purifier, the water is much cleaner and removes the minerals out of the reverse osmosis system and come check this out. So much cleaner on the windshield, but just look at the metal there. I mean, it looks like you chamoed it. There's no water spots on it. Very, very clean. Even you can just see the hearts up there, the gel coat, super clean. You don't see the water spots. All the metal here is good. And that's the biggest difference. So if you're one or not, you should get one. If you got a nice boat, you want to take care of it and make it easier when you get in from fishing and you don't want to shim the entire boat, I highly suggest getting one. Check them out, Spot Zero Water. And uh, you know, this one's still in great shape. So we're going to keep on using it and uh, we'll see you guys back here next time. We're back in the kitchen, it's time to cook. We're gonna cook up some mahi. We're gonna have with some lemon olive oil, put some fresh lime on there, a little bit of cilantro, some butter, and we're gonna bake it in the oven. Now I don't bake a lot of fish in the oven. I don't use the oven too often, but the oven's going to 400 degrees. It's just me and the girls here, Sadie and Claire, you can probably hear them making noise. That's what they do. But uh, I'm gonna cook a little afternoon snack and let's see how it turns out. A little bit of olive oil first. Get that going like that. A little bit of butter in there next. A little bit of butter, some limes, got some lemon olive oil, and just a little bit of cilantro to finish it off there. That should be pretty good. 400 degrees, we'll check back in about 10 minutes and see how it looks. What do you want? You're making an awful lot of noise. I hear you. Stop that. Button, light button. What color are you doing? Pink. Pink. Does Claire like pink? Yeah. I think she's not sure about it. All right, so it's been nine minutes. Ooh, that smells delicious. I wish you guys could smell that. I gotta try a bite and we gotta let the girls try a bite. But just plain and simple that, olive oil is lemon flavored, so it's like, you know, it has plenty of flavor by itself. You can see the fish is done. And I thought about hitting it on the broiler for the last minute, but I said, you know what? 
let's just keep it on baked all time. It was about 10 minutes total, but let's check it out and see. You gotta love mahi. Summertime's here. Well, technically not, but summertime's coming very soon, and it feels like summer to us. Either it's summer or winter here. It feels like summer because it got really hot up the last couple of days, so. Super good, super soft. The citrus flavor carries it so much. You know, with the lemon olive oil, a little bit of lime, and a uh, little cilantro, you can't beat it. Sadie, you want to try a bite of fish? You do. Let's see if Sadie gives it her approval. We give her a nice little bite. A little bit of butter in there, too, and all that good stuff, so. All right, ready, sweetie? Now you tell me what you think. Good. Is it yummy? You like it? You want more? You want another bite? All right, let's give her one more, one more bite here. Then we got to see if Baby Claire wants some. Although Baby Claire is not so much of a baby anymore. Good? You like it? Oh, Claire Bear. And this is how you test if your fish is good. You got to give it to the kid to see. Um, looks like they're over here doing makeup. Looks like they're getting more on the ground and table than on them, but. All right, let's see if Claire Bear likes it. Now, if she spits it out, we know it's no good, but if she swallows and eats it, we know that it's edible. You like it? Oh, well, she put her hand up. I think she wants more. You want more too? You do? All right, Sadie got thirds. Oh, Claire. You like it? I want more. You want more? You do. All right, you guys, the kids approve it. It's edible, it was good. Just simple in the oven. And you just, you know, if you eat fish a lot or anything a lot, you kind of get tired of probably eating it the same way, so. Just mix it up and do something different, put a little different seasoning on it and all that. So I have a feeling we're going to eat all this right now. And this is our afternoon snack. Sarah's out on the X3 right now with Wes and uh, Kyra from Shallow Sport there. And they just got stopped by the Coast Guard and uh, they passed out everything they needed. So that was good, but you want more? You do. All right, you guys, I'm going to get back to feeding Sadie, feeding Claire, and eating a little bit of my food myself. Welcome back. Beautiful day here off Alamrata. The wind is finally gone. It has been brutal this spring. But we have a swordfish on now. Third drop, swimming the weight up, and we'll see what happens. Oh, some baby getting that gaff ready. <laughs> Just in case. 100. It's out of the way. Got color. There's color, yeah. It's You got the dog, Drew? Yeah. You want me to dark this thing? I mean... Oh? Yeah. Turn off the neck on. Coming at you. Coming straight up. Gonna jump right here. We got one for dinner. I good. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Good teaching, everyone. We got him, girl. What'd you think? You like that? We got the fit. Elsa. Elsa, you like that? Oh, nice. What's that? Here, Elsa. Look, that's fish for dinner. We're on the board. Good. Careful, watch me. Start. Oh, son, leave me. Jugging, looking heavy, doing buoy things. Oh. So we got one swordfish. Our first one came off. We got our second bite. Pretty fish. They're beautiful in the water. I don't think the jug might have just got heavy. It's kind of sitting low in the water. See what happens here. Oh, it's heavy. He's on. He's pulling. Another buoy. There you go. Worth buoy. Buoy's tight, also. Tight. Go get it. Go get it. That's the buoy girl. 
It's weird he never swam up in it, you know? The cone up water. That's how tag is, that quick? Surprisingly hooked right in the corner though. Also wants to see it. They tight on him. Once he gets close, keep him about ten feet away from the boat. Jumper. Oh, I did ya? Mike says there might be more. Yeah, there might be more. Of it's safer time, kind of just, just go nice and slow, just in case more follow up. Out here, pretty sunrise going out, a little choppy. First day I've been out in a while, but uh, a little bumpy right out into the sea, but we're here sword fishing. He just got a bite back there. Oh, swing and a miss. Just hold him right there. No swordfish bites yet. We made one long drift, but we're on drift number two now. And uh, we're hooked up. I spilt my oatmeal on the way out there. First time it's ever fallen over and spilt like that. I was not happy. It had fruit everywhere and oatmeal, but I still ate most of it. Couple of my in the box. The skunk's off the boat. Now we need a swordfish. There we go. Oh, more swam up. There's more coming up. I caught the last. No, nah, there's another one. Oh, is there? Yeah. Let's get him, old son. Oh, don't worry. We're on him. Just put the camera down because there was two more there that wouldn't bite, and all of a sudden Mike got one to bite, throws out another rod, got another one on. Now there's one more here. Another one there, too. Oh yeah, that one's going over there. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, oh sun. Oh sun. Oh. 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 Mahi season's coming, so if you guys want to come down here and fish for these fish, you know, whether you're swordfish or not, you can just go mahi fishing all day. That's what, you know, the majority of the boats that our mares do. You can uh, come out here, and usually on full days, because if they got to go way offshore, they're really risking a half day, so most boats won't do it for a half a day. Springtime, late spring and summertime is when we start mahi fishing. Little update. About 20 minutes past, we got the last Mahi. We got another Mahi on now. They're coming through. That's a good sign. Sad to see them. No sword bites yet, though. Sometimes they get away. We want a swordfish bite, though. Drifting and dreaming. Thank you, man. Good bite. We got one on. Oh, we We're hooked up. Yep. You pack it up there. You were in, you were in La La Land. You were in deep sleep, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was wondering if you were dead or not. 
There was I. <laughs> yeah, just keep that rod tip bent. I was tired. Oh yeah, you were snoozing there, dude. You were snoozing. You were out. There you go. That was good. I was like, I was like, is he all right? <laughs> Guys, so sword fishing can be very boring as it's 216 and we just got our first bite. Luckily he's on there. Hoping he stays. Make our day. Make the whole trip worth it if we get him. No guarantees, but we're always trying. Small sword with a tag. We gotta go find a big one. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. And um, you know, if you wanna enter a giveaway, stansfishing.com slash giveaway. We're gonna give away three apparel packs, so check it on out and some of you guys are gonna win, I have a feeling, so we're giving away a few. And it's time to go. All right, come by. Come to smash the like button. Smash the like button. Come to subscribe. Say subscribe. 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 Say please subscribe. Claire, you want more too? Oh man, look at this. Ah. Oh, Claire's getting mad because I fed her. Mm, 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 mm.